Had you heard anything uh, to suggest that the president had issued a, you know, an order, even a standing order, declassifying documents like that? Well, well, first off, the handling of classified uh, materials is enormously serious in the life of the nation. But uh, I, I can't really comment. Uh, on your reporting, but uh, in my case, I was never made aware of any broad-based effort to declassify documents. So Pence was asked this in response to reporting that surfaced on Mark Meadows, and so let's get into a little bit of what we learned from that reporting. ABC News reported that former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows has told Special Counsel Jack Smith's investigators that he could not recall Trump ever ordering or even discussing declassifying broad sets of classified materials before leaving the White House, nor was he aware of any standing order from Trump authorizing the automatic declassification of materials taken out of the Oval Office. Oof. <laughs> if you are Donald Trump or one of his attorneys. Now, the sources said Meadows told investigators he did not witness Trump himself packing boxes and was unaware that Trump had taken any government records, including classified documents. <laughs> As we know, one of the allegations is that he used his aides to pack the documents up, specifically telling them to do it. But Meadows himself might be in some hot water for trying to cover this up. So from that same report, ABC News has also reviewed an early draft of the prologue to Meadows' book, The Chief's Chief, fantastic title, no notes, about his time serving as Trump's chief of staff for the final months of the Trump White House, which includes a description of Trump having a classified war plan on the couch at his ha office in Bedminster, New Jersey, at a meeting attended by Meadows' ghostwriter and publicist, but not Meadows himself. The reference to that document being in Trump's possession was removed before the book was published. It continues on. Multiple sources tell ABC News Meadows acknowledged to investigators that he asked that the paragraph be changed and that it would be problematic had Trump had such a document in his possession. Sources tell ABC News that Meadows told special counsel investigators that he did not discuss making those edits with Trump. Now, just for anyone who needs a reminder on what Trump's defenses are, uh, what we're expecting them to be in this case. Um, Trump has insisted that he declassified all the materials before he left office. Again, I mean, to, to maintain this point, I'll just stop there and bring you in, Jessica, just to maintain that defense when we know Oh, that's not true. We have transcripts of him admitting, him literally saying, I could have declassified this when I was president, but now that I'm not president, I can't declassify it anymore. And then it just be taking on a whole new life and the person him saying that to being Kid Rock. I mean, there is, he has no defense. <laughs> no, not at all. And even Joe Rogan, someone who endorsed Bernie Sanders, is saying something along the lines of, well, Joe Biden had declassified documents in his garage, Mike Pence had declassified documents, or do rather classified documents that they didn't declassify while they were president. Uh, and he's like, they're just like me for real. Like, I had some <laughs> classified stuff, they had classified stuff, I'm the only one in trouble, what's up with that? That is comparing apples and oranges. I've used this analogy before, but it's like saying, okay, Mike Pence was caught stealing a candy bar, leaving a gas station. Then you have the cashier say, hey man, uh, you didn't pay for that. And Mike goes, oh, sorry, didn't realize I was holding it, goes in, gives it back. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump walked out with like a flat screen TV. He had so many documents in that bathroom in Mar-a-Lago. And then they're like, hey man, are you stealing that? And then he laughs starts running with it and posts on Truth Social about how he has the TV. And it's no big deal because it's basically the same thing as if I paid for it with the credit card because I wouldn't have paid for it yet. No, <laughs> not at all. That's what we're talking about here. It's not the same thing at all. And that's why Trump is indicted. And that's why there aren't charges against Joe Biden and Mike Pence. I think we're being really unfair to Donald Trump here. I mean, who amongst us doesn't, while using the bathroom, reach for tactical invasion plans of Iran, you know, just light reading material? I mean, I think that that's the perfect analogy. And the defenders of Trump, they ha don't have any legs to stand on. Trump himself doesn't have a leg to stand on. And we'll keep everybody updated as we watch the progress of this and his many, many indictments moving forward.